Okay, uh, hello everyone. My name is Stefan Krisnawardjo. You can call me Krisna in short. And good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for Mr. Arixman because uh, he is the one who guide me uh, in the beginning of the class until now. And I made these videos for the mid semester exam, uh, especially mid semester one exam. And I hope with these videos can make a good score for me and I can make my family proud of me. Okay, so today I want to discuss about my childhood foods. Uh, why I choose these foods? Because when I was in junior high school, I often to buy these foods after the school. And it was called a uh, crispy tofu, or in Bahasa, you can call it tahu crispy. And the uh, location of this store is in front of the Purwa Charaka Music Learning Center in the Kamang Pratama, Bekasi. The first time this store is open is when I was in 9th grade in junior high school. Um, I think it's about 4 years ago. In that time, the place is very very small, but I think it's very strategic because people often to go into the record of Kamal Pratama to buy some foods and taking away, uh, especially for the student itself. And the owner of this store is called Mrs. Fala. Mrs. Fala is lived in Mustika Jaya Bekasi and she is working along in this store. But sometimes she got she got help from her daughter and sometimes she also got help from her friends. Uh, for the tofu itself, there's a different kinds of flavor. For example, like the chicken curry, uh, sweet and sour, cheese, garlic, and many more. You can also combine two until three kinds of flavor. But you need to remember, if you eat too much, as we used to call it, mechin, it can affect a sore throat. So you need to drink a lot of water after eat this tofu. Uh, the customer in general is about the students from the Marsudirini, Al Azhar, and the Victory. But sometimes the people around is also buy these foods. And I think this food is very delicious and very healthy. The, it's not just the tofu that sells in the store. But the other menu is also got very very uh, high to get sold. For example, the chicken gopreg, uh, cheese stick mozzarella, and also sometimes they sell some hot dogs or burgers. And for the price itself, the it's very very compatible to the pockets of the students itself and in other things it's not very expensive for example the small the small portion of the tofu it only costs about 5000 rupiah and the biggest portion it only costs about 10000 rupiah and for the chicken gabrak itself, it only costs about 12,000 rupiah. And same as the other menu, it's not too expensive at all. And for the conclusion of the strength, weakness, opportunities, and the tricks itself, the strength is this tofu is very delicious and very, very healthy and simple. For the weaknesses, is if you eat too much meat chin, you can get a sore throat and that is not good for your health. 
the opportunities itself is the strategic place to sell some goods because many, many, many students and people often to buy these goods. And the trade itself, I think, uh, uh, if there's any other things that can cross this store, I think that's good for this store itself. And is there any questions? Uh, how much the price for tofu per piece? Oh, the price for tofu per piece. Well, I think that's not the sales is not just like per piece, but it's the portion itself. Like the small portion is the like I think the size of like this, and the big one is the full of the like. Uh, the paper wrap and it's very very many like 10 pieces or 20 pieces of tofu I think that's it and for the price and for the price itself it's not too expensive at all and like I said the big price of the tofu itself it costs only 10,000 rupiah or in Bahasa it can cost 10,000 rupiah is there any question? No? Well, I think that's for my presentation and I'm sorry if there's any bad words or bad grammars for me and thank you for your attention.